the Malaysia Food Sovereignty Forum handed over a memorandum to Agriculture and Food Security Minister Muhammad Sabu on Thursday, highlighting issues relating to the Comprehensive and Progressive Agreement for Trans-Pacific Partnership, or CPTPP. The NGO urged the ministry to look into Malaysia's ratification of the CPTPP, which they say will infringe upon the rights of farmers, livestock breeders and fishermen. Isu yang paling utama adalah berkenaan dengan kesan CPTPP ini kepada hak petani. So whatever they want to say, import, export, import, export, they doesn't have the right to deny farmers' right to uh, save, uh, share and sell seed. Yeah? Kerana melalui uh, CPTPP ini, kita diwajibkan untuk menyertai Convention UPOF. So UPOF 91 adalah convention untuk memberi hak monopoli kepada pengeluar benih. Uh, jadi petani-petani tidak akan lagi boleh untuk uh, berkongsi benih dan menjual benih. Uh, uh, jadi ini satu perkara yang utama lah. Buat buat uh, apa ni kajian semula berkenaan dengan kesannya terhadap uh, industri pertanian. Kerana tidak ada satu komen pun uh, daripada kementerian ini berkenaan dengan kesan CPPP uh, terhadap industri pertanian. The minister said he received the memorandum on behalf of the government. Ah, okay. Just, just, just ask you. Just ask you. No, just ask you. What is? Why is it that they are coming to you and not Miti? Since uh, Miti was the one who ratified. Uh, itu hak mereka. Okay. Itu hak mereka. Right. And, and what are you going to do up there? Are you going to meet them and listen to their views? I, I will listen to them. Okay. Then, for the explanation. I will listen carefully what is their tuntutan, apa, dia, uh, apa yang dia perlukan. The NGO said with the CPTPP, Malaysia may lose control of its food and product supply and prices to other countries. The three-page memorandum was endorsed by farmers, livestock breeders, fishermen, consumer associations and environmental organisations. In October, the previous government said Malaysia had ratified the CPTPP following the government's submission of the instrument of ratification to New Zealand, the depository country, on September 30th.